Hi guys, so it's that time of the month. No, I haven't got my period. It's time for my monthly favorites. Today we're doing my April favorites. Okay, so first up we have a food favorite which is this Bob's Red Mill Honey Oat Granola and it's gluten free, not that that matters and I never thought I would be thinking of something so healthy and thinking how amazing it is but uh, this is my newest obsession like I have it for breakfast with milk sometimes I have it with all kinds of yogurt or I just like just snack it like this you know It's like really really yummy if you put it over like any kind of Greek yogurt or dahi uh, that's what I usually do with it, but when I don't have dahi, I also have it with milk. So yeah, you can literally just have it plain or have it with anything. It's been dealing with my sugar cravings has been really hard because I'm someone who eats a lot of sweet stuff and this kind of helps combat that. Okay, then we have my favorite moment. Okay, so it has to be, I think, the time when the iDiva cover released. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I put it in my vlog as well. And I will put it here again. It's with this guy whose bum is being shown to you right now. I wish he'd just show you his face instead of his bum, but hello, hello. But no, he's too busy doing his own thing. So it's special because I feel like it's with Mars and it was something I shot um, all by myself in my living room. And now he's decided to say hi. Yes, Kokolu. Um, so yeah, my cover star is here and uh, yeah, it was just really special because I feel like we were both in it together and it's like the first of many but it's like, you know, when women do like those pregnancy like maternity cover shoots or they do like a shoot with their kids and they're like, it's special that's how I feel Also, this is my favorite dog of the month <laughs> Obvio Okay, I never thought this next item was going to make it to my favorites list, but it is Lysol. So I just got myself a 5 litre can of this, this cool, cool, amazing thing. Um, and usually a neem one, like I get the Lysol neem usually, but that's clearly out of stock because everybody thinks it's going to kill all the germs now. So everybody's got for neem. So I've gone from neem to pine to citrus. And I really, really like citrus. Like I might actually stick to citrus and not go back to neem. Like my relationship with citrus is very strong right now. So yeah, this is what I use for all my cleaning. And um, yeah, just love, love, love the smell of it. It's kind of like weird um, citrusy, but it's strong. And yeah, really digging this. Okay, now I don't have a favorite song this time. I have something different. I have a favorite playlist. So I have this playlist called 90s Parties Hits on Apple and it is my favorite. Like, I feel like I've gone back to being a child. I listen to this all the time. I dance to it, I work out to it, I clean to it. I'm pocha to it. It's my go-to music right now. So some of my favorite songs are... So yeah, there's um, a lot of 90s music that I love, love, love and yeah, currently digging this playlist a lot. Okay, favorite movie. It has to be Bombshell. I saw it on Apple TV. Now this is one of those renting or buying options like you have to rent it because it's a new movie. I think it was also nominated for a lot of awards last season. I mean, this season a few months ago and it's amazing. Like the women in the movie have done an amazing job check it out okay in terms of accessories the four favorites that i have right now are the four tic tac clips that i use two silver and two black uh, this is how i'm looking sane right now uh, it's my go-to i do not know what i would have done without these i had thrown out all all my hair accessories guys i don't have a brush i don't have a comb i don't have anything absolutely nothing uh just the last diy you remember i did like a diy clips and stuff like that we'll link that here if you haven't watched it but i had bought these for that and i never used them so they were spare and i was like oh my god these four 
tic-tacs are my life right now so yeah I'm growing out my hair for now because obviously I cannot cut it but I might have like a chaska and cut it also I don't know but I'm thinking of maybe doing like a, a hair color video like coloring your hair at home because I've never ever done that and I feel like maybe it could be fun what are your thoughts on that let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in something like that I also did this really funny tiktok about like my, my grays uh, which I will put here so first you want to kind of chat with the grays and kind of like separate them like this and then you just want to go that's how you get rid of the grays so I'm a big hair puller I love to pull out my hair not just my grays even my other hair and I know you're gonna say don't do it but I do it for TP and uh, this was more to be funny than an actual solution to your grays guys it was just uh, uh, a funny video but yeah I'm also on TikTok if you want to follow me there so yeah I make some random uh, videos like this <laughs> so yeah uh, Tic Tacs have saved my life growing my hair out currently possibly thinking of coloring my hair at home alone let me know okay now in terms of my fashion favorites you guys know I have a fashion favorite usually it has to be this t-shirt it says Netflix and Nasto and it is uh, a t-shirt that I keep wearing right now I feel like I was also wearing it on the IDVA cover and um, yeah I just wear it all the time like right now I'm all about wash and wear like what's on the top of the pile gets worn it had sleeves I chopped it off this is I think um, this is Viraj Kelani's merch and he sent it to me and it is my new favorite t-shirt because it describes today so clearly all I do is eat and watch stuff online and um, yeah so this is my fashion favorite right now okay time for my favorite part my favorite shows okay money heist hello okay so I watched this actually like the day it released and I finished it in like two days I just love 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 this show I would recommend Money Heist and I would recommend Money Heist the docu uh, that they've done around the filming of the last season and also um, like the characters and what's interesting to note is that Money Heist was made for TV first and it flopped and then it came out in next like it came out on Netflix and it was like whoosh, the whole world was like oh my god I love Money Heist so uh, both tours are what I would recommend watch it now if you have not watched Money Heist also if you haven't watched like the whole thing start from season 1 now okay up next on Netflix we have two hot to handle major 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 cringe fest but it's like one of those reality trashy shows but it's just so addictive like I watched the whole season and the basic concept of the show is really hot people who are not allowed to have sex for a certain amount of money and it's so hard for them to not have sex um, apparently <laughs> which I don't know why it's so hard but yeah um, watch it it's just like right now it's just masala and I mean it's for all ages clearly like I heard overheard my mum watching it the other day and she was like when I called her for dinner she's like yeah, yeah I'm just watching something I'm just gonna finish <laughs> and come uh, she was so addicted to it so yeah too hard to handle then we have the last dance which is all about the Chicago Bulls, um, Jordan, Pippin and I can't tell you how much of my childhood uh, was spent watching basketball games so I had this coach called Alvito I don't know if you're watching this Alvito but if you are hi uh, he was the most amazing coach and he coached us for many years in my school like five six years and uh, he was obsessed with Jordan and he was obsessed with the NBA and he'd feed us all this information and then we didn't have like um, you know Netflix and stuff or you can go online and watch games we had to actually get up early to watch them or stay up late to watch them on star sports or whatever and he used to tell us guys today there's a game watch it and um, we used to do the same stuff they do like what time is it game time um, and yeah so watching this was like kind of bringing back a lot of memories for me but it's just really really interesting for me Jordan is one of the all-time great sportsmen of our generations and I think generations to come and just to see this uh, you know the inside scoops the stories and to watch these videos now I just feel like it's amazing I'm so glad like content like this is coming out now uh, from that time when we didn't have like Netflix and stuff it's just if you're interested in basketball just watch it that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> then we have the coronavirus explained which just launched like yesterday they have only one episode on right now watched it 
uh, in the current time it can be daunting it can be scary but i feel like it's very informative and i feel like everybody should watch it okay then we have hot star uh, little fires everywhere oh my god love 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 the show if i've not said love i'm going to say it again i love the show it's amazing 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 uh, again i hate that there's like one episode a week right now i want like 200 episodes of the show <laughs> but yeah it's it's fantastic check it out now then we have amazon prime of course i watched four more shorts uh, i watched the first season and i watched this one i mean it's honestly kind of like a, a very um, satc desi version of satc but the girls are amazing um i wish their stories had a little more depth though just i feel like a lot of it is just token feminism token uh, you know we need the token gay couple we need this we need that the single mom but i just wish there was like more meat to their stories but like i just love how progressive it is in parts i love that it, the girls are so trendy fashionable and i love that um they're like strong opinionated chicks who make their own decisions like i like that about the show so yeah that's something i watch which i like and last but not the least we have apple tv uh, watched home before dark which was really really good it starts off a little slow but then it grips you and then you're pretty like oh my god i have to watch it watch it watch it watch it if you like like murder like stuff like that watch it and then the new one is defending jacob again i think there are only 3 episodes obviously i've watched all 3 episodes Uh, I hate this episodic thing right now guys just give us a break and just give it all to us So guys those were my April favorites what have you been loving in quarantine right now comment below with your favorites shows food items cleaners everything uh i am desperate for new information comment 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 with what you're loving right now and i will see you guys soon bye